uh, by now you have already logged in and you've created your account. So let's talk about your next steps. So you're here to do a project. So go up to the left hand side and click on new project. <clears throat> when you do that, it's going to ask you what you want to title it. So I will call this uh, my science video. And uh, your teacher can better tell you what citation style. I'm going to use MLA. And then citation level. Unless your teacher tells you otherwise, you can select junior. Submit. So nice and easy. Now you're in your project. Uh, while we wait for the website to load, um, let's take a look at what we have here. So we have project details. What is your research question? Uh, what causes uh, water pollution in ponds? That's going to be my initial research question. That might change over the course of uh, the project. Thesis, um, I'm going to say um, water pollution is primarily caused by phosphorus. And that's going to be my initial hypothesis or claim. And we'll see whether or not that proves to be true. What your teacher would really like is if you could go ahead and share your project inbox. So they want to be able to see what it is that you're doing. So they're going to tell you what the project inbox name is. And I know because my teacher has told me that I'm looking for MS Science Movie and Poster. That's what I'm looking for in uh, for the inbox. So as you begin to fill it out, it will auto-complete. And my name is Bilbo Baggins. So I'm going to put that in. And then when I'm finished with that, I'm going to click Done. Your teacher may or may not have you um, add student collaborator, collaborators. Okay. So now you've got that, um, and you can go back to your projects. As we wait for the website to load, we can now see that my science video is there. Um, I've got the MLA citation style picked at the junior level, but I've got no sources and notes. So I can take a look as to what I want to do. If I want to make any changes, I can do that over here. But for right now, I just want to get started with my work. So let's take a look. If I want to get started with my work, I want to go add some sources. So I've been searching around on the web and I found some sources and I want to create a new citation. Where is it? Um, for this one, I'm going to say that I found a web page on a website. So I'm going to go to that web page and I'm going to put that in. So learn about water. Learn the issues. I've done a Google search for water pollution. And now I'm going to go to this website. I've been here before. And this is a website that I want to use. And I am worried about nutrient pollution in water bodies. And so I want to cite this as one of my first and most basic sources. And I'm going to go into sources and solutions. OK, so here I see excessive nitrogen and phosphorus can be a problem. So I'm going to cite this as my first source. And I go back to Noodle Tools. And I put that in. And then I try to fill out as much of this information as I can. Uh, the name of the website, the publisher of the site, and you can put in any notes you wanted. Uh, I'm also going to make sure that I include this in my final work cited. So let me fill this out right now. Date of publication. Can I see anything on there? Uh, last updated on January 27, 2016. January 27, 2016. And the most recent date of access is today, and that autofills for you. Who are the contributors? Let's see, can we tell? Uh, I don't see anything on here that's going to tell me who the contributors are. Uh, web page or document article title. So these are all things that you can put in one by one. So I see that there is nutrient pollution, sources and solutions.
So this feels a little bit slow, uh, but you'll be able to do it pretty quickly. Name of the website. The website is epa.gov. You can see that up here in the URL. And the publisher of the site, I know that this is the US Environmental Protection Agency. So I'll put that in here. And then I'm going to submit. Okay, so that's in there as my first source. If I need to make an in-text reference, it looks like I can go right here. And uh, you can include a, a reference following along with the advice there. Note cards. If I need to create a note card, um, I want to start to keep track of my sources and I want to start to use the material. So I'll go here. Uh, when I want to create a new note card, I go in and I call it uh, Causes of Water Pollution, or whatever fits, Source. Ah, the source is already there because I already added it as one of my sources. Um, the URL, I can go back and plug that in again if I need to, but it's really already in my source. List, and then uh, any direct quotations. Um, I'm going to quote this. Excessive nitrogen and phosphorus are often direct result of human activities. Um, what it's asking me to do over here to paraphrase or give a summary is to deal with this. What does this mean? Uh, this means to me these two nutrients uh, are often related to human activity and can wash into streams and rivers. And if you have any ideas of your own and how you're going to relate those together, you might be able to uh, put that in right below. So. Uh, my original idea is I will combine this with a pond map to explain how human activity around a, a lake, around a pond, can cause water pollution. If I want to add a picture, I can also do that. Uh, so I can go right back to that URL, and I can add a picture if there were a clickable one, and I can add that right here. Cancel. Save and close. So now I've got my first note card, and it's right here. Your teacher can come in and add a comment when they're ready.